Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important and conceptual problem from differentiability, right? And here uh, we'll solve this problem and we'll discuss some concepts regarding the differentiability of absolute value function, right? So now here uh, we have a problem uh, that is we are given a function f of x, right? And this function is a sum of uh, three absolute value function, right? So here we have f of x is equal to mod of x minus one plus mod of x plus two plus mod of x minus three. And we have to find the derivative of uh, uh, this function f of x at x is equal to half. Right. So at this point, that is x is equal to half, uh, we have to find the derivative of uh, this function f of x. So now uh, before finding out the derivative of this function f of x at x is equal to half, uh, let us first quickly revise the definition of uh, a mod function. Right. So the definition of mod function says that if we have uh, say a uh, mod of x then mod of x takes the value positive x whenever x is greater than or equal to zero right and uh, mod of x takes the value negative of x uh, whenever x is less than zero right so what we will do here uh, we'll first uh, redefine uh, this function f of x right so this given function f of x uh, will be redefined uh, by making use of this definition of a mod function. Now, if we closely look at this uh, function f of x, uh, then we can easily see that uh, this function f of x is not differentiable at uh, the points uh, which are given by as uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 3 is equal to 0, right? So if we solve these three linear equations, we'll get uh, 1, then we have minus 2, and here we have 3, right? So this function f of x is not differentiable at these points 1, minus 2, and 3. Now let us uh, define uh, this function f of x in the neighborhood of x is equal to half, right? So let us uh, take these three terms one by one, right? So see, uh, mod of x minus 1 is equal to negative of x minus 1 uh, whenever x minus 1 is less than 0, right? So here uh, we have uh, used this definition, right? So mod of x minus 1 is equal to negative of x minus 1. Whenever x minus 1 is less than 0, it implies that x is less than uh, 1, right? And here we have x is equal to half. So we have half less than 1, right? Okay, now let us take the second term. So here we have mod of x plus 2 and mod of x plus 2 uh, takes the value positive of x plus 2 uh, whenever x plus 2 is greater than 0, right? So it implies that x must be greater than uh, minus 2 and here we have x is equal to half. So half is obviously greater than uh, minus 2. Now let us take a mod of x minus 3, right? So mod of x minus 3 uh, is equal to a negative of x minus 3 whenever x minus 3 is uh, less than 0 or x less than uh, 3, right? And here we have x is half. So half is obviously less than 3, right? So this is how uh, in the neighborhood of x is equal to half, uh, we have uh, defined a uh, mod of x minus 1, mod of x plus 2, and mod of x minus 3, right? So now, uh, let us write f of x in the neighborhood of x is equal to half. So now, in the neighborhood of x is equal to half, we can redefine f of x 
and f of x is now equal to uh, here we have mod of x minus 1 is equal to uh, negative of x minus 1 and then mod of x plus 2 is equal to positive uh, x plus 2 and uh, here mod of x minus 3 is equal to a negative of uh, x minus uh, 3 right so now we can uh, simplify this expression so we have minus x plus 1 then we have plus x plus 2 minus x and plus 3 right so this x and this x get cancelled we have 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 3 is 6 so we have now minus x plus 6 right so now the reduced form of or the redefined form of this function f of x in the neighborhood of x is equal to half is given by f of x is equal to minus x plus 6 uh, which is a linear function right so this is a linear function so now uh, let us differentiate f of x right so now it is uh, an easy task to the find the derivative of f of x so f prime of x can be written as d by dx of minus x plus 6 so we have minus 1 plus 0 right so the derivative of x is 1 and the uh, 6 is uh, a constant so the derivative is 0 so here we have minus 1 right so f prime of x is equal to minus 1 right now our task is to find f prime of half right so when we take x is equal to half so f prime of half is equal to a minus 1 because f prime of x is a constant that is minus 1 and it is independent of x so f prime of half is equal to minus 1 so viewers uh, this is how uh, we can solve these type of problems uh, related to differentiability of absolute value function.